shit. We're live. We are live. And you got the in the periscope. Too. Levi City Press Box. Kind of behind it. There's yeah. some Mexico fans slash reporters who are still here. <laughs> As you know, there is no cheering in the press box. There's no love in the press box. No breathing no in the life press box. There's no life in the press box. Hello. Hi, friends. Que pasa? Hey, Daniel. Como estas? <laughs> oh, yeah. First of all, welcome. And Nate Patel. Yep. Joining the time. Periscope for the first On time. On camera. There's, there's a species of people who are the behind the camera crew, and there's the in the front of the camera crew, and I'm Nate evolved. is joining us. Yes. Who just got off with Daniel? Dodgers I'm lead, eight, five. I literally don't care about the Dodgers. No. I literally... No time for the Dodgers. Literally no time. Mexico. <laughs> 49ers won 7 nil. So this was announced as the highest attended soccer game in the history of League of Lies, and we couldn't figure out exactly how many soccer games there are, but it can't be more than like six. Ten, yeah. You know, six or seven, maybe. It was a great crowd. I mean, they didn't they didn't get what they deserved. But yes, and by the way, well, what do you mean by deserved? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, for, okay, that's that's a controversial <laughs> statement. And I gotta go back on that. Yeah, dude, Shay Salinas, man of the hour. Yeah, I was I was talking shit about him. I think Robert Jonas was also talking shit about. On hell, the uh, the Barca game. There was the Barca game, and there's I think there was some other stuff too. Um, oh, yeah, what yeah. was Robert saying? He was just saying Shay Salinas because he came on and he, he made a you know error like he does occasionally. But. So the, the ball, I don't, did you watch the game fully? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. so that the ball that kind of popped over, hey son, um, the ball that there's this oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the ball that popped over um, that he was trying that was kind of coming across when yeah. Shay was heading it that was pretty high. Like it's hard yeah, to yeah, get yeah. over that that's to keep fair. it back over. So I don't yeah, I didn't actually blame him really. Remember, yeah. Um, He's had a couple rough games. Well, yeah, we have 69 viewers. Six? Yeah, what up, people? Why? Why are you here? Yeah, why are you here? <laughs> okay. We'll take it. How about Chad Barrett? He's, He's a, a good he guy. He can finish, and he, can, and he has finished his entire MLS career, but for some reason, some bizarre, unknown reason, he hasn't been able to have any confidence in, in a... In a San Jose shirt, but it's been working. I mean, this this is a guy who kind of like gets on a roll, especially as a sub, and does a really good job. That's what his historic strength has been. Yeah. So this game comes in late, is a sub. Well, that's why we brought him in. And he do, did well with it. Shea Salinas, historically, he's done really well as a sub. Comes in as a sub, does really well with it. And I like I, I like the lineup today, minus. Uh, oh, monkey off the back. That's what it was. I couldn't figure out because yeah, there's a bunch yeah, of ultras that, that, that were that jumping good. on top of me, so I had no idea what the hell was going on. <laughs> Also, we have 88 viewers right now, so bad, what is bad. up? Um, what was I saying? The lineup today. Minus lineup. not having Wando, it was a solid lineup. Yeah, very having solid lineup. Adoy, Quintero, Dawkins, and MPG on, on the field, all our technical players, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Starting 11 for Classico, I think you go with almost the same I, thing. Very similar. Yeah. I would say very similar. I wouldn't make that many edits. I don't think that Clay is... Like, even if he's healthy enough for it, he hasn't got any yeah. game time, so it's really hard to jump right yeah. back in. Especially in a big game like that. I have no idea what Andres Imperiale is doing. Yeah, that, that's weird. Um, he just had a kid. You know, he did yeah. just have a kid, but he has great, played since then. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. has. Um, who else? So, Francis is in. Yeah, I think it's pretty much the same. I would say the exact same lineup. I wouldn't make any changes to yeah. what they threw out there. That was good stuff. Yeah, good stuff overall. Um, and they actually moved the ball okay against Orlando, yeah. but that's to be expected. Orlando's defense is terrible. Sure, yeah. The Galaxy are going to be shorthanded, but... Um, Fuck Mexico indeed. <laughs> Honestly, like, there are times where, you know, the USA and Mexico are kind of brotherly rivals. Yeah. This is one where it kind of felt good, you yeah. know, unless your brother I'm, go I'm down. I'm happy with this. Is that an A? Yeah, that's an A. Yeah, man. An A Patel. <laughs> the man himself, the myth, the legend. Yeah. The elusive. Um, absolutely. So... I mean, L Tree fans, by the way, go hard. Yeah. In the parking lot. In both outside. ways. So first of all, in the parking lot where the press are parking, like the media parking lot, is littered with glass Tail bottles, gates. Yeah. tailgates, and they all kinds of crazy shit. It was great. It was so Music, funny. Great food. Right. I didn't get to taste it, unfortunately, but. Um. Yeah, it was so funny. Oh, signal improved. Get out of here. I hope my. Yeah, look. Yeah, we're good. Comment there. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no habla espanol. Lo siento. Um, 
but the, there was this tank outside in yeah, between the media parking lot and the stadium. There was like a literal military tank with dudes in camo. There was it a was guy like, with it like was an assault turned. rifle. It was <laughs> turned up in the air. And it was justified because fans tried to run on the field. People were throwing shit from the stands the entire time. I got decked in the back. It was pretty interesting. It was something else, man. Uh, the, the they pelted every time Chile scored a goal and kind of like went off in the corner and to celebrate. Oh, yeah. They're just pelting them with shit. The seventh goal, somebody hits Arturo oh, Vidal yeah. with a bottle Clinical. from like 40 yards out. I mean, like, can you imagine an A if Mexico's best athletes played soccer? They, that guy should have been playing. That guy baseball. should have been playing. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no excuses for Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wait, I'm sorry. There's no reason not. Chile is a much smaller not to country, make it by a the game. way. Yeah, Chile yeah, is yeah. a much smaller country. This is not a large country. And Mexico is a very large one. Jesus. Um, <laughs> That's brutal. No, that is brutal. Um, by the way, wait. We'll yeah, see. Ochoa got the puto a couple times. Yeah, so and they, the, they the got allayed Me- by their own fans. Yeah, so too. the Mexican fans very much turned on their team in this one and they really kind of like twisted the knife in them a little bit so obviously the Puto chance been an extremely controversial chance yeah. in general but particularly this week after Orlando so after it got to a certain point the Mexican fans were like fuck it we're just going to Puto our own goalkeeper um, and it did not go well nope. <laughs> it backfired not too well because <laughs> he gave up two more goals after they started doing that and Ochoa is a really good goalkeeper too so it's not like he's a scrub or whatever but if I spoke out. Spanish, I would definitely want to be there for the media stuff, but yeah, it's so not the, homophobic. The that's... homophobic thing, it's complicated, yeah. but it's not, it, it's clearly impolite. Like, regardless it of whether impolite. or not it's specifically homophobic, it's impolite. And by the way, people do translate it as a homophobic for in certain occasions, they just, it's contextual. And I think the fact that it's even possible to be offensive in that way, just avoid it. Like, who cares? Like, does it matter that much? Yeah. So... If they need to build a wall, they need to build a wall in, on the six-yard box yeah. so that they can keep more pressure out. Um, no, we, we have well... We have, yeah, I'm going to... Let me see. I'm going to... No, not that one. Not that one. How do I... That's I don't know how that. I... Ine is going to... Ine is going to block this pool. Next time. Next time he comes up, Ine is going to take yeah. over. Daddy and I. Ine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's see. You're out. Adios. Boom. We don't stand for that here. Yeah, it's true. We love, look, I hate Mexico because I'm a U.S. fan, but I love Mexico. Yeah. I do. They play great soccer all the time. It's like Trump. And I hate them, I hate them like a brother. You know what I mean? Like, you hate your brother, you have a rivalry with them. That's us in Mexico. We, we're brotherly rivals. I have never been to Buenos Aires. Neither have I. (laughs) The word. <laughs> That's true. Um, not sure where the relevance what? is that, though. Actually, one of the Quakes' Twitter handles is Negrito or yeah, Negritin. True. Um, his nickname, which is, is a little controversial, a little blacky. If you, blacky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's something that's not. Again, it's context based. Yeah, exactly. Like he, in some ways, that's like a kind of normal thing to say in Spanish. Um, but not in English. I didn't see the Messi pass because I was watching the Quakes game. Ross Negrito. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so the, the Argentina game Negrito. was the Argentina game was on the other TV at Golden State Brewery, yeah, yeah. but I was not watching it. I was like mostly yeah, socializing was, right. and then like partially watching the Quakes game. Andrew Negrito. Oh yeah, that, that's actually his name. My bad. What? Andrew Negrito and Ross Negrito. That's his actual last name. Yeah. Except in English, <laughs> like black. Oh shit! Heart, that's heart right. Heart. Yeah, that's right. They're actual blackies. But they're not here, so. Yeah, they're not here. I'm I'm hearting this, by the way. You see all those hearts? Yeah, that's yeah. Colin right here. Keep the hearts coming. Mm. Oh yeah, there we go. Two different colors. So if you guys have any questions about the Quakes game, then send them over. You want to talk Quakes? Sure. You want to talk about the right, destruction yeah. of El Tree? We're in. Yeah, I'd happily talk about that. You want to banter? We're here for that too. No, dude, I'm clearly winning the hearts battle right now. I'm purpling so hard right now. It was with no one, though, but it was against Orlando. Yeah, and preach, Nay. It's yeah. not, it's not, this is not Leicester City. <laughs> it's not Leicester Innocent City. Innocent money gar- garbage. He had some 
horrible first touches, and for like a player that supposedly as technical as, as he was like sold to be, that was really disappointing. Yeah, there was rugby in Avaya. Yeah, when that wasn't no one told us at all. Yeah, I've, we're on the mailing list. Yeah. Like people should tell us these things. Yeah. Half the emails go to like my spam filter. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Yeah, innocence, full on bus mode right now. It's bad. It's bad. It as I said, good. as I, I said, when you spend that much money on a player and you're an executive, you're gonna do everything in your power to make it look like a good decision, which means you're gonna give them a lot of time. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing right now. John but Rose this summer, me. this summer is when you gotta. They have to move on from yeah. him. It just does not make sense to hold on. The score of the USA. Uh, <laughs> Your defense is terrified. <laughs> Break her. <laughs> Selena is on fire. That's that's my favorite. Choice, la, la, but, la. Uh, predict the score of the USA game. One nothing. USA. Wando goal. 90th minute. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out on that. It's gonna be like four nothing, Argentina. Yeah, yeah, probably. I actually think that there's a possibility the US wins it though because all they're gonna do is camp out. Yeah. Just keep Argentina in front of them and oh yeah Ross even from the grave you're the asking Britannia. about Britannia on every single uh, periscope never been, Britannia. never been to the Britannia never been to Almaden dude I think the US could win and here's how they sit back they keep Argentina in front of them Guzan has a blinder yeah goes like to penalties Howard. after a 0-0 zero, zero, 90 minutes oh, no true. extra time straight to penalties that. USA, I forgot about USA, that. USA. It's like it's rigged in our favor. It's like it's rigged in our favor. We know we never perform in overtime. World Cup, bottled it against Ghana. Yeah. Against I don't. Belgium. By the way, I do not believe that Wando going to start. I think no, that that not. would not make sense against a team like Argentina. Well, you're going to need to sit back yeah. a lot. And if you have Wando up there, then you have two strikers up there, and Wando and Dempsey, neither of whom are line leading guys, nor are they pacey guys. And those yeah. are the two traits you need to be a counter attacking team. Um, so, and they're going to counter attack. Like, there's sub. no way otherwise. Yeah, maybe it's up. With, with the lack of forwards, definitely. But not as a striker. Yeah. Not as a starter. Send our yeah. If they lose, I hope they send them for the Clasico. They won't. They won't? I don't think they will. It'd be, it'd be, be rough. I have no idea where Rachel is. Oh, by the way, I, have, I, I wore my Fox Sports credentials today to get into the special areas, and it did not help me at all. Landon Donovan comes back. Dude, nah. Landon. Landon's enjoying boy. the retired life. When? When I wear glasses. <laughs> but from, I'm just covering up this coffee stain. I just got Okay. I'm just covering up this coffee stain that I got when Chile scored their fourth, fourth goal. Mm. But yeah, H&M, no. six bucks. No rides home for Landon. And uh, no, I did not call him Judas. When I was a kid, by the way, that's when Landon was in San Jose. So I was like, I kind of grew up loving Landon. Um, so I, I'll never be able to hate him. Never will. But Landon, what, is CBG injured? I don't fucking know. I haven't talked. I haven't even thought about the LA game. I have not even considered the idea the LA game existed. I bought existed. shitty tickets that are overpriced for where they are. But unfortunately, last time CBG was out of Vaya, he didn't even like. He didn't even stop. The yeah, we tried Robbie to interview him. Little maneuver. We tried to interview him. They basically sent out Keen and Gerard simultaneously, and then Keen, Keen went to, to go do an interview, and, Ro- and, and Gerard went, went around. Not cool. Yeah. I don't mean but remember, so in the... Yeah, U- yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. You're a Liverpool guy. Ultra section Saturday. I'll try I to may, convince my friends. But Stevie G is not used to talking to press because in England, you don't have to talk to press at all if you don't feel like that's it. Horrible. Whereas in the US, this is kind of a culture of like you have to talk to press. Good. Like MPG, I'm going to have to watch the tape on this game again because honestly, I didn't have a good vibe of it. It's hard to like, it's hard to look at a game seriously when you're in a bar. When you're in a bar, or in a bar with ultras, it's hard to break it down for real. But no, I like MPG's gameplay. Um, I think that he was all right, and I think that that's a setup that works. I have no idea. There's some announcement in Spanish, but yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, dude, me, me and Angel went nuts. We went, we got turned. So when the final goal went in, when the Shea goal went in, um, we, we, everybody like jumped on top of us because we were like right in the middle. And some dude stole the water bottle that was on me, and he was like, oh, and just like dumping it on everyone. And the bartender's like, what the fuck, man? What's wrong with you? You're like a grown ass man. 
Just take a 50 year old dude. Hey, just question can you go to the ultra section so if you're not so in yeah, tickets? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the ultras There's will have you. If yeah. you. The rules of going to the ultra section are not about having tickets, it's about wearing black and being crazy. Yeah. If you're crazy and you're wearing black, you can go to the ultra section. Period. No questions asked. Hell yeah. How about the fall line? The fall line don't have you, they're nice. Are they? Actually, they but, might mm, be. That might be the press conference. I don't habla espanol, so... I don't know what's going on. Imperio? No. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get in there. Unless you habla espanol, which I don't. Does the fault line even exist? It's actually a good so question. I've never met anyone in the fault line, but I know they exist. They, and people always say things like, Oh, I'm friends with a guy in the fault line. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, exactly. you never cool. seen them. That's right. That's awesome. I've only seen the fault line... They cheered at the beginning of the, the season last year, but they don't cheer anymore, which is good because it's just one more competing drum in the stadium it takes away from the atmosphere. Yeah, I can't hear them. I think that Imperio would make for a good other end of the yeah, other end of the stadium crew, like they do at Stanford when they yeah, have yeah. a separate end. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that's right. The AO that's president that's is a right. fault liner, and that's like one of the reasons why some people know him is be, like you know, remember Sean Stefan from LA Galaxy yeah, yeah. Confidential? He knows those guys. Oh, okay. So I'm not a fan of AO, but. There's some, there's some cringe with the AO. So I was... Oh, what is AO? AO is the American Outlaws, the U.S. supporters group. Um, they're kind of like the ultras of the U.S., but it's not... Yeah. They're, they're, when I say ultras of the U.S., I just mean like they fill the same role. I don't mean they're like them in yeah, any yeah. way. Um, That's on Dave Cavill. Oh, we'll, we'll get a scrimmage. We'll get a scrimmage. We'll get a scrimmage. Yeah, dude, we, we need to absolutely. So my idea is that we do like a viral video, like a digital video with the Quakes, where we all switch positions. Mm -hmm. So like, reporters go out on the field, uh, the players go in the press box, yeah, or yeah, you yeah. know, like something like that. That'd, that'd be a good. I idea. think that'd be dope. That'd be a good idea. Like Marvel Wynn writing a story on yeah. Deadline, you know, Quincy Ameriqua interviewing fools, dude. Tell me you wouldn't watch that. Wouldn't that be freaking hilarious? I'm reviewing my bullet header goals. Yeah. Who would be the craziest ultra from the team? Wando. He's pretty insane. He already is. He's great. He's great. You know, like, last game at Avaya, I think, uh, usually, like, when Wando's here, they always salute the ultras. When Wando wasn't there, they didn't. So, I mean, like, I think Wando's definitely the big... Big uh, fan based guy, partially because he grew up here. Yeah. And he's a great guy. Are you watching Euros, by the way? People have been asking about um, people have asked about Euros. I didn't watch any of the games today. How was I it? I watched the Portugal game. It was, was the Portugal game turn? It was quite hilarious. As someone who. Dude, I fucking hate chose. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. He had some really. Oh, yeah. Magyars. Magyars. Yeah, yeah. Some cruise dude. See, I kind of like. I went to Portugal over the winter and it was great and I love Portuguese people, but I fucking hate Cristiano Ronaldo. Belgium Ronaldo. Yeah, Belgium really took it. Yeah, Ronaldo missed like two sitters and then he missed the penalty, obviously. And then he also had a goal when he was like standing on a free kick three yards offside. And he scored it, but he was three yards offside from the start, so why were, why were you there? So he's just playing down here. Carlos Tevez. Isn't he playing in Argentina right now? I have no thoughts about him. I mean, he was good when he was in Europe. Portugal drew nil-nil with, uh, who was it? Croatia? No. Who was it? Help us out. I, I just completely blanked. No, I yeah, know he's Boca balling for Boca, but who's Albania? Was that it? It wasn't Iceland. No, it wasn't Iceland. Iceland played Hungary today. Iceland played Hungary. What's the what's the fourth team? I guess. Iceland, Hungary, Portugal, and then who did Portugal play today? Dude, Croatia's kind of a messed up place. Yeah. Austria. That That's what it was. Yeah, Austria. Austria. Um, oh yeah, Alaba. Okay. If you. Go to the Balkans sometime in your lifetime because they're amazing. The people are really incredible, but there's a really ugly history there. And after, because it, it's like, yeah, Croatia are a very good team, but I'm saying politically, Croatia is kind of fucked up. They have like a far right party that has like links to the Nazi era. Um, 
and they have like some kind of fascist symbolism on their flag. It's kind of a messed up place. But it's because it's the product of an ethnic war. So like they're ethnified, you know? So yeah, Croatian ultras are turned. To give you an idea, when Croatia played Serbia, they were not allowed to travel to the other team's venue. So it was in, when it was in Serbia, it was exclusively Serbia fans. When it was in Croatia, exclusively Croatia fans. They've had to play a couple of games behind closed doors too. Cause yeah. One of their, uh, someone burned the Nazi like, and into the pitch like before the game or yeah. something like that. And then there was yeah. that time that when uh, Albania was playing Serbia that somebody flew a Kosovar flag in with a drone and then when the Serbians snatched it out of the air and threw it on the ground and the Albanians being deeply offended just like fucking lit and the game got abandoned. So yeah, let's put it this way. There's some ugly politics in that part of the world. And so yeah, if there's some crazy Croatian fans, yeah, it happens. Oh, yeah. Also, I went to a game in Bosnia once, a club match, and shit was lit. Yeah. Like, My fucking flares Bosnian, so everywhere. Huge on soccer. Torcida split ultras? Love our Croatian team. Yeah, that's true. No, the, that's, honestly, there. this is the scourge of Southern Europe and Eastern Europe is just fascist fans. They're like, they're literally yeah. everything that's wrong with football fans. Um, and they're really strong in, in, um, in, Eastern Europe. <laughs> you got pissed on in a game on direct That yeah. seems reasonable. That's amazing. No, Bosnia was one of the more lit environments I've ever been in. Just because there's flares. Everyone has flares. LA? Which LA? Los Angeles? I'm assuming not Los Angeles, because Los Angeles is super fucking left wing. It's a little fascist. A little fascist. The galaxy are fascist. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Oh. Don't throw <laughs> that sounds like Latin America. Yeah. No offense. That's on Glasgow Rangers. So I dated a, a Catholic girl from Glasgow once, so we always rooted for Celtic, but I don't have like strong opinions. Crazy rivalry, one of my favorites. We were in London actually, me and this girl, um, and on the other side of the street she heard like clear Glaswegian accents. Um, and but she like literally kind of grabbed me a little bit tighter and was like, oh shit, um, you know, like there might be trouble here because it looked like they were coming out of a bar or whatever. And then they started singing, Glasgow is green and white, Glasgow is green and white. And she was like, oh good, it's fine, they're Catholic. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yeah, come on, you boys in green. Boys with an H. The boys. Um, the Chile left back, who was that? It wasn't. Uh, I don't know. The right back was amazing. Yeah, they are crazy. Russian fans are crazy. I want to go Isla. to the Chile. Isla? Was he playing left back? I have never thought about four screen rubbers. I've never even spent any mental energy on them. They're fourth tier, maybe? Who cares? We'll <laughs> Actually, hold up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continually name drop because of my Seattle experience. You know who has the best Scottish accent I've ever heard? Stuart Holden. Has an amazing Scottish accent. Did he played for Rangers? No, he might have. He played for Bolton for a while. Oh, yeah. But he, no, he didn't play. But he was born in Scotland. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, Stu. And we were driving through Seattle and there was this kilt shop and he's like, that's my people! And then he just started speaking in a Scottish accent for like the next 10 minutes and I was in love. Good guy. Ugh, I've so good. For him, even though I haven't met him. I said Spanish at C GSB. Wait, what? I said who was Spanish? No, I didn't get a pick with him. I was working. Stu isn't Spanish. Stu is Scottish. I'm confused. No. Oh, yeah, he, no, no, Stu also speaks Spanish. It was really crazy. He was making fun of, uh, uh, what's his name, Fernando Fiore? Yeah. It was just like swearing That's at him funny. and making fun of him in Spanish. Um, so, yeah, no, Stu, man of many talents. Landon obviously speaks good Spanish too. Yeah, that was surprising. But yeah, good. I wish I spoke Spanish. Yeah, dude, Fiore is the man. He, yeah, he seems like a cool dude. He's a funny guy. Candy? It's not up to me. <laughs> Tell me that. The best MLS city of... Actually, that's a good question. Portland's great. I My family's from Portland, and I hate admitting that, because, you know, I'm... 
at San Jose. Reported at, oh, I assume you meant other than San Jose. Kansas City is great. If I Kansas went City's there, I'd great. probably really like Kansas City. I've only been to two. Vancouver was fantastic. I'd recommend going to a game in Vancouver. The Seattle Stadium is amazing. It's a great environment. I hate Sounders and all that, but the, the environment's great. <laughs> I did too. I, I didn't even have to wink. I got off without yeah. even touching myself on that one. Dallas does sound like shit. Like it seems oh, yeah. like no one's ever there or anything, which is terrible because it's how like, good that team is. Oh, yeah. They play great. And it's like an hour out of Dallas, so no one shows up. That's the thing about the Cascading team. All the stadiums are downtown. Yeah, that's true. And they're, they're like in, downtown, a, they're in the thick of it. They're yep, not, they're, they're all downtown. Colorado also an hour out, yeah. Yep, yeah, Commerce Sucks. City. Commerce City and Frisco and all that bullshit. Yeah. Sandy, Utah, fuck that. Carson, LA. Carson, yeah. No, um, the boonies, yeah. But Portland is right in downtown. It's right off of Burnside, which is the main drag of Portland. It's right next to Pearl, which is kind of the hip neighborhood. It's great. Vancouver downtown is beautiful, too. So there's, there's like one main road, and uh, the hotel I stay at, you just walk down the road 10 minutes, you walk down the road, you're at the stadium. 10 minutes the other way, you're at like some other food place. There's stuff everywhere. Mm-hmm. I really like Vancouver more than Seattle. I've been to Seattle, too. But Portland, Portland has a lot of... Do you see the stadium's terrible? Oh, yeah. RFK is a toilet bowl. I, I, like, I like the DC fans, though. They're loyal. Uh... BC as in British Columbia? For sure. Respect, Canada. Oh, yeah, I love DC. Chocolate City, baby. I have a Nando's. I love Nando's. (laughs) My dad and his wife both live in DC. That shit's lit. I used to live in DC for a while, actually. Nando's, yeah. Used to live in Northeast. What up? (laughs) Uh, Let's see. No, that's pretty much it. It's mostly the West Coast cities. Okay. Yeah, RFK is oh, yeah. worse than that. RFK is there are skunks, rancid. possums, anything you can think of. It's horrible. It's like a war crime. The press box, the press box was like moving at a USA game, yeah. up and down. Actually, our press box says that too. But that's true. I assume that's intentional engineering. I did RFK, not. I'm not too sure. About I did not win anything in the raffle. Angel did. Angel did. Come on, you Newcastle. Yeah, come on, you Jordies. <laughs> tin. Come on, you tin. Um, Portland's stadium also used to be a dog racing track, by the way, like a Greyhound dog track. Racing. So it's kind of like old and weird, despite the fact that it's a new stadium. So it's That's great. Also used to be baseball. I do not have time for a Bella. Not anymore. Never. When she was in the group chat, I was in. But other yeah. than that, no. Yeah, it was a baseball. It was a baseball scene, but it was a Greyhound track before that. The Ghosts of Metal Rabbits. Classic Portland. As noted by Eli Stewart. <laughs> Cheers. I have time for base tacos too. I have time All for time. base tacos. Payette. <laughs> Payette is bigger than West Ham. Dude, I fucking hate West Ham. I hate West Ham so much. If you're a Spurs fan, number one most hate is obviously really? right well, yeah, here Arsenal, course. but number two is West Ham. I fucking hate West Ham. I'm not that invested in Premier League, so I enjoy everyone. West Ham shite, yeah. West Ham die in the fire. That's fair. Burn it to the ground. I just fucking hate that club. Oh, Quakes fan six, screw you. Can't even. Oh, I'm super digging the Wanyama sighting. That guy's hard as fuck. Um, but West Ham, for those of you who are not educated. <laughs> wait, are you talking about the. Wait, which nice stadium? Are you talking about the Olympic Stadium or the Berlin Ground? Um, because the Berlin ground was pretty cool. I will I will admit that. City. But West Ham in 2013, like the 21st century, made hissing noises throughout a Spurs match to simulate the sound of gas chambers in the Holocaust because Spurs are the Jewish club in London, or stereotyped as being such. That's wow. West Ham. Now, that shit happens when Lazio comes to town because Lazio is like a famous fascist right-wing Italian club. Whatever. Italians are going to be fascist and racist. We know this. But fucking West Ham in London in 2013? Good I didn't Lord. even know that. Yeah. 2013. Too. 2013. I have no time for West Ham. I have no time for West no Ham. Time. Well, as I said, Lazio will also do that, but Lazio is like famously, <laughs> famously fascist. There's a lot of interesting football history. Like, yeah. you can go on and on and on reading about that stuff. Yeah, no time for City. 
I actually want to write a series about politics and football, but I have to have somebody buy it first. Yeah. So if anybody knows any magazine editors, let me know. Who do I hate least? Yeah, who do you hate least in the Premier League? I think that, so like other than the team other that we root for, um, I'm going with Bournemouth. I fucking love Bournemouth. Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll up Bournemouth all the time. Up the so cherries. I sh- should technically be a Spurs fan because my dad grew up in... Uh, in Jewtown, in North London? Yeah, <laughs> right next to Wembley. Grew up right oh, okay, so that's a little bit yeah. over the west, though. So, but that's, no, that's like, that that's like Queen's Park though? Rangers are oh, the closest well, team there. that's, like, depressing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but yeah, my dad... It's Queen's Park is the closest to My dad Wembley. grew up in England. He's, he was a bandwagon Liverpool fan in the 80s because, you mm-hmm. know, they were awesome sure. then. So I have to deal with that now. Okay, I've so, had one moment of glory, though. So my grandmother was an Evertonian. So I guess Everton is on my list of yeah. teams that I like. I have no time for it. No time. I have time for Tim Howard, though. I have time for Tim Howard. He landed Donovan was an Evertonian. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't he, he scored like a goal in the FA Cup. Didn't he? Yeah, he scored like a couple big goals for them. Okay. So I'm like a lightweight Evertonian. What the fuck is this four screen stuff? Just course. take it easy, all right? Just take it easy. Ease up. Was that in a movie or something? I don't know. I have time for uh, Cork City. It's my team in FIFA. Really? Yes. That's bold. It's a one star team, and I beat a friend, a couple friends of mine. With Bayern Munich. Huge comeback story. Somebody just said, Who scored for the Quakes today? You know that there's this thing called the internet, right? Where you can look up the score report and all it's that. Okay, we got you. Periscope. Yeah, Periscope chat. Shea got you. and Barrett. I did that. I did that. Adebayo at Confenwa. The guy oh, from yeah. the guy with the number one strength rating in FIFA, the AFC Wimbledon oh, dude. Yeah, 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 big guy. We should sign I him. I can fend one to SJ. We should sign him. What? I would Yo, hearts. So hearts. Look at these hearts. I'm about to heart. Wait, hold up. Damn it! I'm trying to heart super hard. Boom! Busy yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 As I said, I hate Mexicans like I hate brothers. You know, like, I don't have a sip like that. Football, football, yeah. it's, a, it's a rivalry. I'm watching game now, still zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been, been the same. like that for a little while. So. When, are you watching the Quays game or are you watching the Chile-Mexico game? Because that was also scoreless. Or, wait, was it 16? It was one. Yeah, it was 16 yeah. minute. Yeah. That a bio yeah, is better than innocent. Yeah. Yeah. And he cost a lot less, too. Right. Who wins Game 7 tomorrow? I didn't watch Game 6 because I was in Seattle was working, bad. so I didn't see it, and I can only assume that it was terrible. I, I have a bad feeling about it, but I mean, LeBron is, you know, known for showing up in Game 7, so I don't know. Anything can happen. I hope Steph Curry is so depressing. Over. Yeah, I'd be so depressing. Sharks lose. Uh, well, yeah, Sharks lose, Warriors lose. It'd be all bad. It'd be real bad. Dude, don't want. <laughs> I'm just gonna rewatch it in case they win the second time around. <laughs> you could try. <laughs> yeah, you could. It's not gonna go well. It's not gonna go well. Jesus, qué pasa? Is there a boy Jesus? We're doing a periscope. ¿Cómo están? Wait. Yeah, so wait, hold up. What are your emotions right now? What are they? <laughs> Como sientes? Uh, 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 yeah. shows up today, more organized. Um, it shows a different type of style. Just a counter-attack, individual player. Really uh, stepping it up, running the full length of the field. Yeah, they were just, they were just badass. You know what I mean? I mean, you see Alexis Hampton running all the way back to defend. Yeah. You also saw um, that with Fidel. And so those are the two individual players who had assists, you know, individual tactics. And it was a yeah. very... Um, well played out game by them in last year's champions. It could actually be a repeat. Argentina the Periscope people tell me to give you a hug. A hug? Okay. Yeah, come here. Come here. Hug it up. 
It's okay. All right. Guys, Next we'll time. See, see you guys. Nos vemos en el Cali Clásico. Okay. I'll be there. Próximo sábado. Okay, we'll be there at San Jose. If you guys can't make it, let's catch these guys. Yeah. But it's going to be a lot of fun. At least 65,000 almost, right? So, uh, maybe 55, 55. Te amo, Jesus. Te amo, Jesus. I love Jesus as well. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you guys then. Uh, Stanford. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, that was that was Jesus Cristo himself. Yeah. Bay Area de Cortes. Uh, yeah, Bay Area de Cortes. Yeah. He, uh, he has a website. Spanish speaking. He covers the quakes and well, pretty much every team in Spanish. So. Yeah, he seems like the, the game got the better of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's usually a lot more talkative. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Yeah, he might hit the socks. <laughs> thoughts on Lynn's one, though? She's a no thoughts. super, super nice person. I think she works in like special education or something, but yeah. And they've been together forever. Oh, yeah. Since, forever. Since Chico. Since the Chico days. So, thoughts? Who's Alex Ramos? <laughs> He's the guy who, they were talking shit on Twitter. <laughs> Looks okay. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so when, are... when you hear things like the Hyman rumor, and it comes from MLS transfer rumors, it like it almost makes it less likely to be yeah. true than if you hadn't heard it from him in the first place. I forgot to ask Robert Jones. Oh, shit, we should. Yeah. Well, here, I'll text Robert right now. But it, no. <laughs> Hyman <laughs> rumor. Yeah. Okay, first of all, Get it. just look at our place on the allocation list. And that'll tell you like the whole story. I think we're like eighth or something. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it, it gets reset every year, and then we get. Oh yeah, we get our slot in the draft. But yeah, you get your draft slot. Whatever your draft slot is, is the allocation slot you got. And I don't think anybody's used theirs yet. A lot of teams. Are, yeah, there's a lot of teams. Are. Info on that on that player, please. I'm lost on him. Emerson Hyman. He's uh, he is a 20 year old center midfielder, a really slick passer, American. He's a well, grandson for, of um, something Hindman, like a, a, an American soccer coach guy. Hindman, H Y N D M A N. Uh, he's great. Uh, he was the captain of the U20, yeah. the U20 World Cup. Slick passer. Number eight as well. He can pass from deep rather than, um, you know, like guys like Gideon Zalalem are more like advanced passers, but I love. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people did. But, uh, How's he doing at Rangers? He had a shit season. Yeah, yeah for sure. Well, it looks like, uh, rather, I would rather have Benji Joy than Heinemann as well. Uh, Zalalem spent last season on loan at Rangers and didn't play all that much. And Lyndon Gooch, that good. Benji Hoya are two guys we should keep on our radar. Benji Joy is, uh, Hoya is uh, still at Cruz Azul, right? Or where is he? No, he's at Sanchez. I don't go to Berlin Game Dragons games, or haven't yet, but I would love to. I went to one uh, with John at Quakes Forever. It was, it was a good time. It was a home opener. Great crowd. You go to San Carlos United games? I don't know what that is. Nahaka? Yeah, he, he was Kasha? With, How do you pronounce that? Nikasa? He was with Nikaha? them. Nikaha? Nikaha. He, he was on loan. Like, that happens in the guy Max a lot. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's a good guy. All right. We're back. We got that. Que pasa? So we got the What's press up? Conference. Nikaha. Nikaxa. 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 Really? Nikaxa. I didn't know that. I thought it was pronounced like the X in Me or the X yeah. in yeah. Mexico. I don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. What? Yes. Yo. Yo. Okay. Yo. I'm assuming you meant Yup. Something like that. So we at one point had like 90 viewers. Yeah. What was up with that? People want to talk about Mexico. And then they realized that we're not about that life. Where's Ross Nair? They, they <laughs> it's the pronounced CFA at Seattle. They're at a movie. Yeah, there's a movie. I just texted Robert Jonas, by the way, to ask about the Hyman thing. I mean, also, by the way, remember the other thing where if you, they're interested, congratulations, you're interested in a player. I'm interested in a lot of players. Uh, that doesn't mean that it actually is going to happen or had any realistic chance of happening. Like, Dave Cavill will tell you that they were interested in Carlos Vela, but that does not mean that he was about to sign ink on paper. 
He wasn't like he wasn't like dipping his pen, his quill into the ink, ready to go. I'm on the line. <laughs> Andrew! Dude, hearts, 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 hearts. Ah. What movie are you watching? Good Guys? It was a bad movie. Yeah, was it? I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Was it not? I don't know, it was confusing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, I know MLS Transfers said that. MLS Transfers is... Yo, what's up? Oh, so Univision apparently has turned over to some celebrity show right after the soccer thing, so that's all we're getting. Yeah. Um, Let go of Venison? Absolutely. Uh, MLS Transfers is basically useless. MLS Transfers is... I like do not have time for it. the four news of America. It is... Yeah, it's the it's the bottom of the barrel. It, there are no sources of information. Yeah. I have no idea who he is. And there are no sources of information about the San Jose Earthquakes except for basically Robert Jonas. Like, technically, yeah. if you're saying... If you're like, oh, Colin, aren't you also a source? A lot of my news comes from Robert Jonas. My news is... <laughs> so, like... Robert is the man. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> no, because the Semilaris Rumors guy is not attractive or anything, so he's like even less you know, useful. Is a Quakes fan? No way. Oh, is Quakes fan. Oh. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, I, I have gotten very little independent transfer rumorings from the club. Robert has a lot of them, and then uh, John sometimes chips in. I have in. like two of them. Thoughts on letting Innocent go, yeah, yes. let him go. Quakes fan nonce, yes. Kardashian's attractive, yes. Uh, on Andre, Innocent needs to go, yes. Yeah. He just yes. Like, I don't know how, who's going to buy him. Like, yeah, that's the he's, problem. He's not even good enough for China, so like... So here's the th yeah I, I him, think he'd go to China or one of the Arab countries maybe. like Qatar. I'd sell him for free, honestly. You could release him, but you're owed. But you yeah. owe him the rest of his contracts. So there's no reason to do that. He's good for PDL. He can't. Even, he's not eligible for PDL. Uh, I would laugh out loud if Imperial he was at Levi's tonight. No shit. He's super nice. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. send, him, send him back. That's where he came from. Yeah. yeah. Um, he scored more what goals in one three-month stint in Azerbaijan than he has so far in MLS. Yeah. Oh, Andrew, um, yeah, the Britannia. Uh, I'm assuming Imperial is injured, but Dom did not mention him uh, as injured, and he was not in the injury report, so I am a bit confused about that. We, uh, I was told that we will have a Quincy Miracle interview this week. My boy Ney is coming with me, and yep. we'll ask them. It's going to be a special interview. Video interview. So video interview. Out. Yeah, shit. Have you been to Nick the Greek? Yes. I went for the I have not. Time. Dom is injured, it's actually. Fantastic. Dom yeah. just has surgery on his foot. He broke his fourth and fifth metatarsals. Oh, jeez. That was a bad accident. No, that was before the accident. Oh, really? He broke his foot before the accident, and then he got in an accident What's after that. To? I don't know, but it's something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. My dream, the dream of times gone by. <laughs> Funny story about John and Dom. Uh, one time, John was getting, he was coming on, he was getting booed by this one fan who walked up to the front and just started, like, booing the hell out of him. And Dom looked up, up at him and he was like, no, why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> and then, yeah. And then John, John is a savage. I mean, John, John's not going to make any friends, you know, with his political views. And it's yeah. combined with his play on the field as of late. Yeah, John is playing. He, uh, John played for Sacramento tonight, actually. Oh, really? Yep. I think that'd be a good future home for him. I think that would, too. <laughs> Son Jordan Stewart blocking Ross and Dijon. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know anything about Brendan Morrow's place in the team in Toronto. He's he's a regular starter. Was Dom yelling at fans? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that, I wasn't there. that's what I saw. And telling them to show. I think they were heckling him because it's Orlando. And then Dom probably had a snarky comment like he like he always does. Dom doesn't take shit. Yeah. Did you get a pick? No. I didn't. I'm sorry. Sorry, I boys. Needed, I needed to like light up my Instagram, but I can't. Remember, she's my coworker. Can't fuck around with that shit. One day I'll get a pick. What are John's political do is? How can you not know this at this point? It's like the most They're not famous that political. Publicized. Publicized. I feel like if, if like the entire MLS media knew about this, they would be giving him shit like. 
I don't think they would. I think that there's. I think that the sports media is uncomfortable talking about politics. I think this is different. By well, the way. just to be clear, like I have no problem with conservatives. I, everyone knows I'm a left wing guy. This is not a conservative. This is a psycho psychopath. So it's not fascist. the same. He's a fascist. Actually, you know what? 1995, Umberto Eco made a 15 point set of criteria of what constitutes a fascist based on his experience in fascist Italy under Mussolini. And read that list and tell me it doesn't fit Donald Trump to a T. He doesn't Chuck say it exactly, Chuck but check favorites. all the things that he favorites and, and, and some likes. Of his old tweets. Favorites and likes and old tweets. And you'll, it will be very obvious. <laughs> yeah, Scotland was great. Yeah, see, I have see, time people, for Scotland. People don't even know about this. People don't know about this. Look yeah. through Adam Jones' likes. Recently, too. I mean, you didn't hear like it from us, though. You didn't hear it from us. Do you know who else likes Donald Trump? Um, the guy from the Quakes U23 team that we didn't draft, that everybody thought was really good. Ramon Martin Del Campo is the one Mexican in the world who fucking loves Donald Trump. Interesting. He plays in Costa Rica now, by the way. Saprisa, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Columbus Crew owner tweeted out porn. Yeah, I think that's probably next. The or, best, or not, or she's just fucking kinky. <laughs> yeah. um, there are some great quake stories out there, but I don't think I can tell. Here, I'll, I'll say like the best quake story that I can tell is when. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's anything. I don't know which one this is. There, yeah, there, there are some good ones. There's some good ones. There's one that I'm hoping that in like 10 or years or so I'm allowed to talk about because it's... <laughs> I'm sure it's not an issue to be, but... <laughs> I have time for you, Ross. Yeah. I'm shit at FIFA. Like Jeff Carlisle just asked it. Jeff Carlisle is currently asking the Chilean oh, yeah, coach we, a question, but Jeff he's asking Carlisle. in English. Yay! That's Jeff Carlisle, I have time for him. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. He's one of the regulars around San Jose. He lives yeah. around here. He's good friends with Elliot Allman. He's Alman. the most reliable to- Quakes transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Robert Jonas. Robert Jonas. Colin. And, uh, John. Well, okay, John, me. but John's he's quiet. Me. John's quiet. Yeah, he usually John. feeds it to yeah, Nay yeah. or me. So... Yeah. This thing, and like, I, it, we're, like, honestly, we're a small club. Yeah, there's, there's not going to be any transfer. Like, no, Elliot Allman's not going to tweet anything out because he's a newspaper reporter, and Jeff Lepper is an MLS reporter, and therefore he's not going to tweet anything out. So it's going to be pretty much us two or Robert Jonas, yeah. and it's mostly sourced from Robert. It's mostly Robert Jonas, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, Sana Nias is no longer with the team. I love him. He hasn't been with the team for a while, but he is still living and staying in San Jose. So I don't want to know what his situation is. Pelosi's on the men. Pelosi's on the men. He got surgery, a big surgery, three or four months ago. So <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's where Sana is. <laughs> true. It's true. It's Goodson. Goodson will return first. He's already made the bench in the Open Cup, and Dom said that he would be okay to play. Um, but not necessarily a 90. Yeah, he is. I like him. He has a bit of a temper, and I mean, it's probably tough coming from the Argentine league to MLS because it's like a completely different like pace and you know style of play. But yeah, he's also 31. I think people forget that. Like 31 year olds aren't as good as they were when they're 27 or whatever. Uh, I think Godoy needs one more game before he gets that yellow taken off. Yeah, he's a legend. Really? Is MPG one of the better players? Was he one of the like better players in the Argentine league? He was decent. Uh, who's starting right back? Marvel Wynn. Yeah. No question. I mean, I like Harvey, Kobe Sarkozy, but I think that Wynn's better. Did he? He played on the left uh, in the Open Cup. In the Open Cup, yeah. Yep. That one pretty good, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Sarkozy was for me one of was the one of two good players in the Open Cup. Yeah. He and Tommy were the only guys who played well. He was a legend. Like Wando. He's like Wando that's, for T Grace. I didn't know that's that. That's really cool, yeah. But he only has like 4,000 Twitter followers. Mm. That's weird. Well, maybe they didn't care as much about Twitter. In Argentina? Yeah, but they deserve a spot there. Where... Oh, really? We, we outbid River Plots. <laughs> that's shit. Which, Which Quakes players lives the farthest from San Jose? I don't fucking know. I mean, Wanda lives in San Ramon or something, right? Really? 
or no. Danville or somewhere in there. I, I know John probably lives in Sacramento or something. Oh, he does? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Sir Cody is so great. Sir Cody uh, is learning how to play left back, but he has never played it significantly in his career. I, uh, Tommy Muller was too injured to ever play. Um, <laughs> yeah, our season can be kind of sketchy. That's not a joke. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, peace, Andrew. Um, I've seen Kobe Star Cody work on left footed crosses in practice before. Like, really drill that hard. Because at the end of practice, the way they finish is they have guys in the wings put in service to the middle, and then they do the finishing drill in the middle. So they'll put in service from wide areas, and guys will finish through the middle. And the guy they have on the left in the last couple of times I've watched it is Kobe Star Cody, meaning he's working on that left foot. Uh, Kip Colby also hangs out on the left a lot. A lot of players leave Argentina, they're not safe. Yep. Yeah. Andrew Barrera last season was the guy who put in the service from the left flank. I did play soccer growing up, but I quit when I was like 14 or something. I did not play very long. Yeah, I stopped a little too early as well. It's a shame. I played baseball after that. I actually played a semester of baseball in college before I realized that that was stupid. Um, what do you mean you're a striker? Just like, are you telling me that's what I am? I'm a striker. You're a striker, were you? Yep. I poached all my goals. Word. Because I'm not athletic. I poached all my goals. Yeah. Uh, I was playing D3, by the way. This is I was playing at the lowest possible level of D3. Um, but I then decided to be a debater full-time rather than baseball. What line is that? You played against me? When? What? What was my... Uh, what team were you on? Because I played on SASC, Sunnyvale Alliance, Strikers 97. My stomping grounds. That's one of the few grass pitches in, uh, in the... You know, Sunnyvale versus San Carlos. San Carlos? I, this was a while ago. I stopped playing for Sunnyvale Alliance in like... Four years ago. I would have played a deeper position on the pitch. Although when I was like 14 or whatever, I was a striker because yeah. why not? Why not? But I'm just saying, like long term projection, I'd be a number six. Thoughts on the end of course versus Quake Academy? I haven't. No been. thoughts. I haven't been to any. Uh, the playoffs are starting next week, actually, yeah. for the academy and the development of the US SDA playoffs. Oh yeah, then I've probably played at US some. some. What college did you guys attend? Classic. Uh, I went to Bates College because I'm old as fuck. And I'm starting at University of Southern California. I don't know. Next year. Um, how much are we going to miss Jones and Bedoya? Bedoya, not at all, because you throw Graham Zussi in there and you have basically the same player. Um, Jermaine Jones, I actually think we might get better because he's tactically incorrigible and just kind of does his own thing. And I actually think that Blake like, Beckerman is I like better. Kyle Beckerman. I like him a lot. I think, or I think that like given the challenge that Argentina presents, he's a much oh, yeah. better option. Yeah. Um, more reliable. The real trick is going to be Bobby Wood. Bobby Wood's irreplaceable. I have not heard about Diaz of Force getting the Barca Academy director, but I don't really believe that because if you're the director of La Masia, yeah. you're not going to Diaz of the Force. How's Colorado so good? Because they were they added a shit ton in the offseason. Dashi is legit. Doyle is now healthy. Jones is legit for the MLS level, and you know they they added a couple other little pieces. They're having a Quakes 2012 year. Yeah. They just have a bunch of really good pieces. I don't believe that Pablo Mastroni and by the is way, a tactical they're, genius. No, he's not. And he's, he's like Frank Yellen. Yeah, he's like Frank Yellen. Mateus. Mateus played for Arizona oh, tonight? I didn't know that. You know, the last time he played for Arizona, they put him at left Oh, back. yeah, Papa's legit. I love that. Oh, yeah, Marco Papa. Um, I, yeah, I don't that. know. I didn't realize that um, that's Quake's fan. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Silva got played at left back, and he's not a fucking left back. No, he's not, not at all. He, like, he looked he's not left footed. Uninterested. He's not fast. I think Yalp just wanted to stick him in the lineup. Yeah, I don't know. Get a run. Yeah, out. that's why we need a USL team. They might be shit, but then we can send him our players. Interesting. Uh, he could be a center. Oh shit! They're trying to start up the Quakes fan argument, dude. No. He's way too good on the ball to be a center back. First of all. 
He can hit a good long pass. Oh, though. yeah, really good. Uh, he looked like, like shit against Portland, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I don't know what was up with that. He was recovering from injury, but Jesus. Are we looking for anyone in summer transfer? Good right Lord. We better be. Um, I think so. Yeah. Look, the obvious move is getting rid of Innocence, but it's going to be almost impossible to do yeah. so because of the money. It's really I'm hard to offload. Them. Like, people in other sports are familiar with the toxic contract, like the David Wee contract or whatever. It makes them have negative value, basically. Um, but card is innocent. He has a black. On hell, what's your rumor, by the way? Yeah, tell us your rumor. But yeah, it to NA, us. what's uh, your innocent? I see him at Santana all the time. He has an apartment at Santana, but uh, he drives a black like muscle car, American muscle car, and he has a Ferrari, a red Ferrari, hmm. four five eight, back home I think in Switzerland. But um, I have a theory about why the Quakes passes seem really slow. Though you can hit a pass harder if you know the guy receiving it has a better touch. Oh yeah, Bialba. Yeah, but he's like a hot, like major international prospect. Yeah, I don't right. think he's gonna go down. I'm gonna outbid him. Um, At least we don't have. If that's the Bialba I'm thinking of, the young guy. <laughs> I would sign me. Wait, did Lampard score today? Yeah, he scored. Holy mother of God, that's crazy. I would not. Oh, actually, you know, Lampard would sell jerseys, but he would be an embarrassment. Yeah, he'd, yeah, he'd be embarrassing. Want, it just I'll would be the wrong innocent. move. Because no one, like, outside of MLS fans know, like, innocent. Or, like, the fact yeah. that he's a disaster, so. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, no one's talking about how much of a terrible situation innocent is. People are talking about how much of a terrible situation Lampard is. I think that's the difference. Even though it's, like, equally. I, I kind of feel bad for innocent, too. Like, the Me too. knee injury. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. And, like... Apparently, Deanza did get they, the former director of Mamazia. I don't know. I was talking to John about that, I think, but I, I forget what the conversation was. But Deanza's going down. Even if they got the former director of Mamazia, it's... Yeah, Bielba is so, a 17-year-old, right? Oh, yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't remember. He's Alba. What does Dom say about Innocent? He's, like, He's a good player. Yeah. He, Dom does not talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Which, um, is, which is good. Advances, uh, yeah, exactly. Advances a pay for play scheme in the US. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, the whole, like, hiring the Danza, or Danza Force, hiring the former Barcelona Academy director is not like, it's just, it's it's going to be unfair to kids who are going to get told, like, oh, yeah, this is the Barcelona guy. You could go to Barcelona through this. When in reality, you're probably going to get a better, like, first of all, a cheaper or and a better, like, education soccer wise from the San Jose Earthquakes Academy. Stephen Linhart is a degenerative knee condition to answer that question. Yeah, he's not playing. Just yeah, the knee's yeah. not going to, that will not support. Catch him in your Sunday beer league. Yeah, not even. Yeah, I don't not think he, I think that he'll, I don't think he's he can done. run that well. Most of the funny Quake stories that I can't tell, by the way, have to do with Stephen Linhart, just so everybody knows. I don't know these yet, so we're going to. I will tell Anae off camera, but not here, unfortunately. Atalanta? Or you mean Atlanta, Atlanta. United? You don't yeah, mean yeah, Atalanta and. No. The Quakes are not still partnered in Tottenham in any meaningful sense. My understanding was it was a limited time partnership and that the expiration date is either here or past. Um, but Have you asked Dave about that? Or no? I've asked Jake about it and he said that, yeah, effectively well, yeah. no. But no, I've not, I've not asked uh, Dave about it. Mm, I don't know how much of an office guy he is. No, he's not. He's honest. more of like a you can surf, tell by the way he plays. Yeah, surf and chill kind of guy. I don't know if he's the paper pusher. He's or, not like Chris Leach is like an office guy. Oh yeah, he's a nice guy too. Um, I'm trying. Who? A lot of nice guys in the Quakes come out here. I was a flag boy for Tottenham. Hey, not bad. Uh, who on the current team would be a good future executive? Do you think or a future coach? Executive. Executive or coach, you know, like one of those types of roles. Um, I could see Marvel Wynn doing it. Marvel Wynn. Wanda would make a good coach. Yeah, but I don't know Maybe if Wanda not a wants manager, to be it. But coach. At Clay. The, at the youth Clay. Club. Sorry. Oh, yeah, definitely. Clay would Clay. be a great Quincy's coach a or good, manager. A, a good business mind, Quincy. Yeah? Actually, I could, I could see that, but I think Clay is the obvious choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Muma. Muma's. Muma. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Bicycle kick Jordan. Players. I could see Jordan be a coach. Yeah, he'd be a, I could see a really likable guy. Yeah. Players coach. The back eight. The back eight. Jordan Stewart, so, everybody. Legend. I would retweet all his tweets on the Quake Center account, but I don't want to get blocked. I've only been blocked by one player. 
I've only been blocked by that woman who told me that just because I had a dick, I didn't have to be one. <laughs> That's good stuff. I've seen it. She also kind of doesn't know my feminist cred. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he doesn't. doesn't. Don't step with this. I see innocent and San Tenero like three times. I got blocked by her on my private account. Which <laughs> doesn't make any sense. But not on the Clay Step Center account. But on yeah. Baby does, girl. Does she have this? Baby girl no. ain't no need to step. Oh boy. I don't even know what time it is. Does my phone have charge? Find out. Yeah. Uh, I, he yeah. is Quake's epicenter. Yeah, I'm Quake's epicenter. We are Quake's epicenter. We're all Quake's epicenter. Who are you tomorrow? Indeed. Yes, we're better New win. podcast tomorrow, by the there'll way. There'll be there'll be tears. That, that don't don't even don't even go down that one. Yeah, um, it's me. Yeah, it's an A, baby. New podcast episode tomorrow. There will be a podcast hopefully this For week with Quincy Ameriqua. Oh yeah. Vodcast. Exclusive interview with Quake's Epicenter slash the Aftershock podcast and we're going to also make a video of it so do, it's going to be awesome do I get paid? we get so Golden State Brewery sponsors the yeah. Aftershock podcast so that's basically my revenue source nothing significant but we'll not a lot that. do you still have the anything else? not right now All right. so do I do it for the past? Pretty much. Pretty much. And like mostly it's, passion. It's fun. I mean, going to soccer games. Like yeah, we get to go to games for yeah. free. Pretty sweet. We're going to all these Copa games for free yeah. for no reason. It's a good yeah. deal. <laughs> I haven't done much apart from Instagramming and Twittering. Um, but yeah, for for my writing and podcasting, it's just that one sponsorship. And uh, let's see. So if you guys, oh, I had a fundraiser at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Raise yeah. some money. But if those you guys two things can come Know any small businesses? Then. Yeah, if you get, if anybody else wants to sponsor this podcast, yeah. come talk to me. If you know somebody who wants a business sponsorship, you can sponsor on my podcast. I'm sure the Quakes Epicenter will host you in their video feed Absolutely. on the site itself, anything like that. Best um, Britannia. <laughs> Britannia. That'd be a good sponsor. That would be a good sponsor. Uh, best moment as a Quakes fan for me. I have two. Uh, one, 2012, um, against LA at home, clinching the shield. Not clinching mm. it, but like celebrating the shield. You know, all the players went around in the lap and like poured champagne on us and everything. That was fun. And then number two would have to be Cali Classico, uh, 2013. Two goals and stops. That was fucking sweet. I was there. It was that was sweet. absolutely nuts. That was sweet. That's on my list. Um, so, first of all, I just got a message from Robert Jonas. I'm going to see if. There is any legitness to that. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Um, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> probably not a lot it's of legitness. Safe. Uh, we're talking about Emerson Hyman rumor. Yeah, way. Emerson Hyman rumor. Still unconfirmed. We've checked in with our sources. We can check in later this week, too. All if we find Dave, sources. if we find Dave, Dave will tell us. Yeah, he'll tell us. He'll tell us. I don't know him that much. Um, yeah, I'm old enough to remember the comeback against LA um, back then, and it was fucking unreal. Yeah. And that was when Donovan was still the team then. My first game, shit was unbelievable. My first game that I went to was either in 2004 or 2005 against LA, and it was a 1-1 draw. And I don't even. I I mean, I just remember Spartan Stadium and it being loud. So, if it was, I don't think it was the first game when Miami came back. That would have been nuts. But yeah, that was my first Quakes game. I don't remember my first Quakes game, but it, it was a Clash game. It was a Clash game, wow. Would you take Jalo or Innocent? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Jalo is the truth. DC United and O. Yeah. I remember being upset over the Quakes leaving because I had just gone to my first game and it was like a good time with my friends. I was pretty young, and then read in the newspaper, Quake's leaving the Houston. It sucks. I agree with you. I would have loved a Clash jersey. Clash jerseys it's, it's were coming. so foul. It's coming. What? With, no, like, the USL. Oh, he, he but he's saying he wants, like, a oh, jersey, yeah. like a third no, jersey. Cool. We need to get rid of Adidas. I don't know when that expires, but their kits are so blind. I wish I wish we had, like, the stripes and well, checkered. Nike is also making all the kits the oh, same yeah. now, so, so, so I don't even know if there's a good option. Under Armour, Spurs, what up? I think that's their only English team they sponsor, is Spurs. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't like the... It's it's okay. I mean, it's nothing special. The away jersey, I don't think it's... Puma's like, fine. Super nice. 
I'm okay with the away jersey. I'm okay with it. It's okay. Southampton is Under Armour? I know that. Shows what I know. Those two terrible in July. It did last July. I think uh, the July before that, though, is when they beat the Sounders here, yeah. right on this field at Levi's. Shit was cash. Wait. In 2014? 2014, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2014. Two years ago. A horrible year, but. That was. Oh. Hmm. Um, yeah, I remember that. She was cash. Oh, that was, yeah. That was a beautiful movie. Mm-hmm. He had some really nice things. Um, um, I went with my lady. That was, I was that was the first event here at, at, yeah, uh, yeah, at Levi's. I don't think it'd be, I don't think they would put the Clash logo on it. Fireworks during, the, oh yeah, from Great America. They oh yeah, that's the right. Yeah, that's right. I was watching, I was in like DC or something. I'm going to DC again this summer, but there's no uh, no game. No game. I missed it by like a little bit. Or there's no way one, which sucks. Because I wanted to go to RFK and experience, see what I can see. If only Jello was healthy. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. If he He's was like healthy, 30 he now. Might, he might have been at Benfica for a little while more. But yeah, probably. Um, you got to gamble on those types of guys, especially in MLS. Yeah, he's in Thailand. Thailand. So he's dead. Yeah, I've been to Thailand. I wonder what their soccer culture is. I've been to Thailand. Good food. A- RFK is back Wonderful gate for food. sure. Oh my god, Thai food is the tits. I was pretty strung out through most of my Thai vacation, so <laughs> well, I don't that, really remember it that well. There. I don't miss Parazzi. Who the fuck is Omar Jasa? He played for Cork. Karate played for Cork. Oh, we're running, running low. Oh, we're running low on batteries. We so we're gonna, we're gonna wrap a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna wrap Actually, a little bit. You know what? Bit. I could. I have a little thing. I didn't mind John Baptiste Karate. I mean, and obviously a cap casualty, but he didn't seem like a bad dude. A little bit oversold by the front office, but. Thoughts on Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? Omar jo- uh, apparently, Omar Joss was the youngest signing before uh, Tommy Thompson. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, look how good I look without glasses. I completely forgotten how I look without glasses. We have a bunch of, like, really embarrassing old signings. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, there... I'm, I'm going to start a good rumor, right? There'll be ready drum roll. Exclusive rumor about to be shared in like two seconds here. There is, yeah, I don't know. I was, don't worry about it. I'm not playing drums. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. What? <laughs> no, I don't know who that person is. I have Thumbs down on, on you. Sorry. Okay. There is a possibility that a current teenager will be signed directly out of the academy this summer. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Uh, there is a kid who might get signed by another, like a European team, oh. that may get signed by the Quakes. They're trying to keep him. But they'll they'll have to give him a professional contract to hang on to him. So, gonna a guy who's in high school. Either way, right now. either way, it's going to be interesting. No, I'm not going to comment on who it is or anything, but I'm just saying, be prepared in the next couple of weeks. I was talking to Coach Paul Holliker about it, and there's going to be a guy they're trying to hang on to, being difficult. Tiago Messi. Tiago Messi. <laughs> I wish. So that's going to be a fun rumor to track and follow. Yeah. All right. You're running low on battery. We're running low on uh, listeners and commenters. So we're going to close it out. First of all, heart party. Bring in the heart. Second of all, Prepare yourself with your 90 plus yeah, questions. Yeah. All right? The these yes are the, these like are the, the questions the, that have two options. Yeah. And me and Ine are both going to answer them, all right? So I want you to brainstorm your 90 plus questions. You know, the yes, no, one, two preferences. Get ready. Heart party until then. We're going to delay it a yeah. little bit. Think of your We're questions. We're going to have purple hearts. Whoop, 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 whoop. And when the heart party's over, we're going to get started. Oh, so good. Lots of hearts.
There's only like two. All right, hard party over. Right, yeah. Questions. Final questions. Final questions. Go. Lacroix. 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 See, I can't do the French horse, but Lacroix. Yeah. Remy. Remy. Lacroix. If that's the only one, I'm psyched because that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Easy one. It wasn't particularly difficult. Easy, easy. Oh, that's easy. Strong shade. That's easy. Are you saying you're not on? You're on the fence about it. Back gate. Back gate. Bundesliga. I like the Pants. I love the Bundesliga. And uh, pace the of play is a lot faster. Yeah, exactly. Looks good. Back, Back gate. gate. Also, the league is too top heavy. I mean, I guess the Bundesliga oh, yeah. is kind of with the dominant one yeah. team, but below that, there's interesting shit going on. Yeah. MPG. MPG. But I like depending both. on the metrics, like what do you like? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, like they're on different young, salaries, young, they're on different contracts, player, they're on different yeah. ages, they're like really different. Oh, this is a tough. This one. This is a tough one. I'm kind of on Timo Ashe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I rate them both. Honestly. Yeah, I rate them both. Wando. Wando. Get out of here. Not even a question. Wando. For me, at least. I have time for Wando any day of the week. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna leave now. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> um, the answer is no. Innocent. Innocent. Because he scored a sick goal. Yep. And at least he, honestly, he's probably better in the air. Uh, yeah, that's could, actually probably true. Um, he also, I don't know, is put a confused, but they can't be worse yeah. than that. No. Advance. I have him on Facebook. He shared a. Yeah. He shared a pretty low growth thing. Yeah. All right. I have time for him. I have time for Innocent. Bernie. Bernie. Hillary. I'm Bernie. I'm with her. <laughs> well, now I'm going to make her a choice, so. Kasich? Yeah, he's okay. Hey, my parents used to live in Ohio for a while, so I kind of sort of know his scene. He's fine. He's not that great. But, yeah. Robert Jonas just walked back in the press box. Special guest? <laughs> Special guest on the Periscope, Robert Jonas. I don't think he would be a super huge fan of this scene. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, that is a good question. What do you think? I'm going to say Andrew because Ross scammed me into giving him a fucking rally towel from the I have, class ago. I have time for Ross because Ross is clearly gay and that shit is not a <laughs> confession in 2016. Robert! What up? No, we're periscoping. We're periscoping, bro. <laughs> Special uh, guest. Twitter and was transverse. That's so good. I'm like, <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. Want to join? All right. Guest appearances. Yeah. Guest appearances. Are people watching? Uh, it's basically yeah, it's right. almost over. It's yeah. almost over. But was David like, Barkley. There was like eighty people at one point. Robert Jonas. Greetings. This is like the entire Quakes reporting yeah. experience. Like you just need Elliot. Uh oh. Robert Jonas, the legend. Yes. The uh, Chilean coach said that Mexico presented nothing new from the friendlies before the tournament, oh. so they were ready to go. Yeah. Wow. And, 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 showed. Yeah. The Mexican coach. That's David Barkley. David Barkley? Uh, I don't know if he's going to be the Mexican coach come tomorrow morning. Yeah, I don't think I so. Can. He was asked. Yeah. Really? Yeah, what you know what? Say? Will it's you resign? The, the, the most, I'll tell you what, when we get a tournament like this, it's the most international media we get besides an event like yeah. the Super Bowl. And, you know, the Super Bowl was only in the Bay Area once since I've been born. So, yeah. yeah but there was, the there was really, I mean, it was really put on display. One of the first two or three questions was from, I believe, a Mexican, right. some international member of the media, and just straight up asked, are you going to retire? One loss. I mean, I, I get how bad it was. Yeah. I thought I thought I was like a ruthless guy. <laughs> Newcastle got relegated. I think it's... So, uh, somebody, by the way, just asked about the best beer from the beers of the world stand at the stadium. I'm assuming this is a Robert Jones question. No, okay. it's the uh, Edavaya. <laughs> Edavaya. Uh... I wish they had more selection. I really 
I guess I'm uh, making fun of my nose. Boddington. No, they said, Colin, can you buy me out? Boddington's. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Boddington's. It's just a classic. It's a verdict there. But of yeah. course, we're all Golden State Brewery supporters yeah. up in here. Yeah. I don't drink beer, I drink scotch, so. I'm a, little, I'm a little bougie. Is there, is there a scotch at the Bias Stadium? In fact, somebody asked the Chilean coach, will we be uh, having a drink after this yeah. game? Right? I, and he went into this long talk about I will say, this and that. I'm <laughs> expecting a big performance from Wondolowski against Argentina. David out. <laughs> David Barkley, everybody. I saw that, too. I'm actually expecting a big uh, performance out of Chris Wondolowski in the third place game. Oh. I'm not really feeling yeah. very good about Tuesday. Man. That's Robert my Jonas take. bringing the truth and the pain. <laughs> and to, the, it hurts, it to, hurts, the, but... to the Gestapo manager of the men's national team, if you're not going to play Wando, give him back. Let us have yeah. the Classico. Give him back. Give him back for Saturday. <laughs> there may have been people well known in the U.S. soccer world who said that at Seattle. We <laughs> shall remain nameless. So, wait, I, Robert I Jonas, one comment yes. before you go. One more. One comment before you go. Yes. Is no, that um, yeah. MLS transfers the account that honestly is terrible and sucks, but it's reported several times that Emerson Hyman got a contract offer from San Jose. Ah. That's why I asked. I'm assuming you haven't heard anything about that? There's nothing come across my radar. It also doesn't seem like a normal, it seems like a weird place to invest money. It does. And it seems like it would be like a terrible career move for him. Yeah. Like he's already grown up in the English system and he's like established in London. He could be in the Premier League. He's 20. He's playing for Fulham. Yeah. Yeah. He's playing in the championship. He's following the Mark Pelosi path. Is that what we're saying? Uh, Yeah. (laughs) But well, we, we already have a Mark Pelosi. Pelosi. Yeah. We already have a Mark Pelosi. Yeah. Well, sort of. We, 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 okay, sort of we have one on the roster. Right. Hopefully you will get better. All right. All right. We're getting out of here pretty soon anyway. Yeah, we're matching and Peace. you and David are matching. Yeah, me and David are Nothing matching. Nothing like witnessing the worst Mexico defeat in a major tournament yeah. ever. That yeah, that was something else. See, uh, well, how do Cameron say <laughs> seven? Seis? Seis? I don't Siete. Know is, Siete, 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 Siete. Siete a Seattle. Seattle, yeah. That's the new hashtag, I think. So. Peace. You guys heard that was the worst Mexican yeah. since 1928? 1928. So, wow. L3 fans, I have time for you tonight. I'll cuddle. I'll cuddle you if you need it. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry, Robert's no. the man. He is the man. This is the thing that is just true. We all know it's true. I have time for him. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'll be either I'll be little spoon or big spoon, whatever you need. <laughs> I will take care of you in your night of need. The real Renee? I hope that's Jake. I'm assuming Renee is a woman. Well, I mean, he could be French. Yeah, that's true. Pliné. What's that, what's that book called? It's not a confession. It's 2016. It's 2016. 2016, yeah. people. It's not a confession, though. It's not a confession. Okay, final, 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 final questions. Or my phone is going to die. Yeah, this final question. This, this should just not happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah, whatever question pops up next, we're done. Yeah. We're done. It's over. So it better be a good one. It'll be over, over. Someone joined. What are you eating next? I want Thai food now. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do want Thai food now. <laughs> a dog. A dog. Film star? Me. A my, Knight Patel. My Google. favorite adult so, actually, film that's Slayer of Puss. That's illegal. <laughs> or it was illegal recently. Not anymore, though. Yeah, true. Peace, all. I mean, I'll shoot that's oh, fine, man. Bring back we don't mind L3 fans. Oh, Warriors are going to lose tomorrow. True. <laughs> All right. That's Stay strong, not. people. We'll periscope after the uh, Cali Classico. Surely, if I'm not in California, I, I, will, be I will be so he'll scoping. Periscope. I'll periscope. Someone will periscope, hopefully. All right. Stay strong, y'all. <laughs> I'm buying tickets. I'm not going to use your credit? <laughs>